Have you ever wondered what separates a good software engineer from a truly great one? I wondered the same thing early in my career. Hi, I'm Adi Osmani. I'm an engineering lead at Google who's been in the industry for 25 years. After 13 years at Google leading teams across the world and working with some of the best engineers in the industry, I've learned it's a question that really goes beyond technical skill or lines of code written. The answer lies in a single powerful word, effectiveness. But what does that actually mean in practice? And if you want to be an effective engineer, if you want to maximize your impact, accelerate your career growth, and build software that truly matters, what specific traits and habits should you cultivate? Today, I'd like to share some key learnings from Google and other companies that have shaped my understanding of engineering effectiveness. Let's start by drawing a critical distinction. First, there's the concept of being efficient. Efficient engineers do things right. Let's take a look at Bob here. Bob gets a set of instructions and follows them perfectly to assemble a piece of furniture. He works quickly, doesn't make mistakes, and gets it done right the first time. In software, this might translate to quickly closing tickets, writing clean code according to the spec, and following established processes without deviation. This is all incredibly valuable. But then there's this other side of the coin, effectiveness. Effective engineers do the right things. An effective engineer looks at the bigger picture. They don't just ask, how do I build this? They ask, are we building the thing that will provide the most value? They prioritize work that aligns with the team's goals and delivers the biggest impact for the user, even if it's not the easiest or most straightforward task on the list. This brings us to a simple but profound framework. Efficiency is about doing things right, while effectiveness is about doing the right things. One focuses on the process, the other on the objective. If you're only efficient, you might climb a ladder very quickly, only to find it's leaning against the wrong wall. You can create wasted efforts by doing the wrong things perfectly. But if you combine both, you can achieve peak performance. You're not just doing things right, you're doing the right things right. And that's the sweet spot every engineer should aim for. This distinction is vital because without effectiveness, all your hard work and efficiency might be for nothing. It's the difference between being busy and being impactful. A key way to frame this is by focusing on outcomes over outputs. An output is a measure of activity, like I wrote a thousand lines of code. It tells you what you did, but not what value you created. An outcome, on the other hand, is a measure of impact. An outcome says, I improved the conversion rate by 15%. This focuses on the result and the value delivered to the user and the business. Shifting your mindset from outputs to outcomes is one of the biggest leaps you can make in your journey towards becoming a more effective engineer. It changes the very questions you ask. This evolution is clear as an engineer progresses in their career. A junior engineer is often focused on execution. Their main question is, how do I implement this feature? This aligns with our junior engineer here, who is proud of micro optimization. Like I optimize this function. It runs five milliseconds faster now. This is a valuable efficiency focused contribution. As they grow, a senior engineer starts thinking more critically about the solution itself. They ask, is this the right approach to the problem? The senior engineer sees a deeper issue, like this component re-renders on every keystroke. Let's fix the root cause. They're moving from just implementing to solving the right 
technical problem. Finally, a staff plus engineer elevates the conversation even further. They question the problem itself, asking, is this even the right problem to solve? This is strategic, big picture thinking. The staff plus engineer suggests a major architectural change. What if we move this logic server side to reduce client side complexity and load time overall? They're focused on the highest level outcome. So what are the specific traits that enable this journey toward effectiveness? Let's dive into a few key attributes of highly effective engineers. First, they care about the user. They build with empathy, constantly thinking about who will be using the product and how to make that experience better. This user-centric view guides their technical decisions. They're also just great problem solvers. This isn't just about debugging code, it's about dissecting complex systems, identifying root causes, and formulating robust, scalable solutions. Effective engineers strive to keep things simple. They understand that complexity is a long-term tax on the team. So they favor clear, maintainable, and simple solutions over clever but complicated ones. Another key trait is communication. They can articulate complex ideas clearly, listen actively to their peers, and share information openly this builds a foundation of shared understanding. They actively build trust, autonomy, and social capital. This means being reliable, empowering teammates, and fostering strong collaborative relationships, which are essential for a high-functioning team. To do the right things, you have to know what the right things are. That's why effective engineers make it a point to deeply understand the team's strategy and goals. Now, this understanding allows them to prioritize well and execute independently. They can be trusted to make smart decisions about where to focus their effort to maximize their impact. Effective engineers also think long-term. They consider the future implications of their work from maintenance and scalability to avoiding technical debt. They're building for tomorrow, not just for today. They embody the scout rule. Leave projects better than you found them. Now, this could mean improving documentation, refactoring old code, or adding tests. They're constantly improving the health of the code base. Finally, they're comfortable taking on new challenges. They see ambiguity and new problems, not as threats, but as opportunities to learn, grow, and contribute in new ways. Of course, an engineer's effectiveness is also shaped by their environment. Research from Google's Project Aristotle found the most important factor for an effective team is psychological safety. This is the shared belief that team members feel safe to take risks and be vulnerable in front of each other. It's the foundation that allows for dependability, clarity, meaning, and ultimately, impact. Similarly, Project Oxygen studied what makes a great manager. Traits like being a good coach, empowering the team, and having a clear vision are all about creating an environment where engineers can be effective. So, Becoming an effective engineer is a journey. It starts by understanding the difference between being busy and being impactful, between outputs and outcomes. It's about evolving your perspective from the how to the what, and finally to the why. It's about cultivating a blend of technical, strategic, and communication skills to not only do things right, but to consistently do the right things. By focusing on these principles, you can transform your impact and accelerate your growth as a software engineer. I hope you found this insightful. Follow for more content on software engineering best practices and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks on being an effective engineer.